Howdy, everyone. Welcome to week two here in uh, Police Systems. Uh, we'll go a little bit over what we had last week. Uh, the overwhelming majority of the students in this class got everything done uh, that was due this week. I had two students who missed either a paraphrase exercise or um, one of the quizzes, and I don't remember which quiz it was. So please, if you're one of those two, get those done so you, 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 you stay caught up. And then I'm missing one student has not signed up for the, their topic. I don't know who it is because I did go in there. But um, as part of this week, when I send out the do this week email, I'm going to request that you reply to that email telling me not only what your topic is, but who you intend to interview for your research paper. Or let me know if you plan on doing the patrol ride along. Um, and again, uh, if you are an active police officer, we've got a couple of them in this class. Um, you can do a ride along with an, another agency, but not one that you've worked for before. Um, I've had uh, officers in the past um, do ride alongs, actually had two officers from neighboring agencies and they each rode with each other, one from Lake City, one from Dickinson. And you you kind of learn things because people do things a little bit different in different agencies, so it's it's kind of worth it to uh, to do that. It's um, kind of an easy thing to do. Uh, you still have the paper to write, so that's not necessarily that easy. Okay, so um, we'll talk about the introduce yourself discussion. We had a variety of, of people in the class, uh, as I said, just said we've got two active police officers. One is a detective in the area. And another one is a police officer up in DFW area. Um, um, I believe it was Trophy Club, one of the, the smaller towns there and had worked at. And again, I, I just read the discussions just a minute ago. I think it was Irving, Irving, one of the larger cities in the area and has been an officer for uh, the last 30 years. So he's got a lot of police experience. And um, hopefully uh, if you all have questions, uh, you know, we've got a, a couple of uh, classmates read the discussions and you'll see who, who they are who can uh, maybe answer some questions for you. Uh, as far as what they want to be, uh, we've got students for, with a variety of, of, um, of goals. One wants to be a criminal investigator or anything in the criminal justice field, kind of broad there. Uh, one wants to be a lawyer or a detective and another one just wants to be a lawyer. We've got one that wants to be, that would be, be an analyst or work in forensics. Uh, one that wants to be a probation officer, the one that wants to be a border patrol officer on the move up to become part of the DEA. I hope you don't tell your, if you go to work for the border patrol that you want to move up to another federal agency uh, that might be considered an insult to your fellow workers who probably find their, you know, think that their job is uh, an equivalent federal job to that of the DEA. So just kind of, kind of, Hold back what you say. Um, another one wants to be an FBI agent. We had two that just wanted to be a you know, generic police officer. One who said they wanted to attend the police academy and become a detective. And then one who wants to become a child psychiatrist. Um, that is a, a really high goal. I wish you the most of luck and I have a lot of respect for you. There's no way on earth I could ever think about going to medical school and um, you know that, um, and then then specialize in such a, a such a hard field. But uh, I, I wish you the best of luck. As far as colleges that people want to transfer, most people didn't didn't list one. Uh, we've got one that wanted to go to University of Houston. Um, if you want to be in the criminal justice field, it won't be University of Houston main campus. They don't have a criminal justice program, but downtown has a criminal justice program and a related field. Um, the University of Houston in Clear Lake has a, uh, a criminology program. Uh, one wants to go to UT, I assume they mean the University of Texas. Um, that's usually what you think of in this area at UT. However, many people, uh, um, Peyton Manning would probably disagree with you and say that means the University of Tennessee. And then one is uh, thinking about going to Sam Houston State. Now, hopefully um, that, that would be my choice. Of course, that's where I, I went for my master's degree, so kind of kind of partial to the the national champion uh, Sam Houston State Bearcats, who won the national championship for their football team earlier this year, kind of a late in season national 
championship and finally beat North Dakota State. Got past them. It was kind of a hard thing to do. Okay, so that is a summary of what we have in the class. Let me go ahead and talk about what we're doing today. And in, uh, or this week, this week we're going to be looking at chapter one on police and society and chapter two of, on history of the American police. So this is the one week we're going to actually look at two different chapters. Um, before you start looking at the video and, and, and you know, um, reading the chapter in the book, go ahead and print out the discussion uh, terms and I'll scroll down discussion number one. Uh, if you pull that up, you'll see the terms that you're going to need to complete. So um, fill those in as you're going. It will make things go quicker. And then when you move over to chapter two, go down to discussion two and pull that in there. And then you'll need to submit those. Of course, you'll need to submit chapter one's discussion and make at least a 70 on chapter one's quiz before you go to chapter two. Uh, chapter one's quiz in the, this, the, uh, the um, video will not be visible to you until you have made at least a 100. Well, that's all you can make. You have to make 100 on both the introductory quiz and the research paper quiz. And you have to participate in the two discussions, the introduction discussion and the paraphrase discussion. Then the chapters will be visible. Uh, again, for most of the class, all but two of them, they're visible already. Um, so then you will take those quizzes, making sure you make at least a 70. I want to let you know you can make higher. You can retake them as many times as you want to get a better grade. Obviously, if you made a 60, you have to retake it to make a 70. If you've got a 90 on it, you want to retake it for 100, don't be, don't be afraid to do so because you're afraid you'll make an 80 next time and lower your grade. The system is set up to give you credit for the highest grade you make. So uh, feel free to take it as many times as you want until you get a 100. It's 10 questions and the questions don't change. Uh, the only other thing I want is, uh, well, I'm sorry, back up. I've got two more things to talk about before the, the last thing. Um, you'll do have to do your follow-up post for both the introduce yourself and paraphrase. Uh, most of you have probably already done your introduce yourself follow-ups. A lot of them have been done. Um, and not as many on the paraphrase exercise, but uh, a lot of you have. So make sure you get three um, sub posts. Obviously, to introduce yourself, just welcome your fellow student, uh, make some comments, and, and you'll be good. Paraphrase, uh, kind of look at it and see how theirs is different from yours. And then if you haven't already, go ahead to this Ask Your Instructor and click on Subscribe so that you um, will get emails if someone else asks a question about the class. I have never had more than three or four, maybe five at the most in a class. So you're not going to get inundated by emails when you subscribe. And it could be something important they ask. Now in this section, ask about the class, ask about the research paper, ask about something that it could be of interest to the entire class. Don't ask about your grades. Don't ask about your degree plan. For those, send me an email. And now again, the last thing I'm going to mention is, uh, well, mention again is the, uh, your research paper. Um, I am going to ask that if you, you'll receive an, a, a, you know, or do this week email, when you get that, reply to that email and let me know uh, what topic you have chosen for your research paper and who you plan to interview. Um, you know, if you can give me a, a particular name, give me a name. If not, at least tell me what you've done to contact someone to interview them. Um, you know, if you've contacted an agency to try to find a person, if you've contacted a personal friend, uh, if you've contacted a classmate, whatever it is, you need to, to let me know both what your topic is and who you plan to um, interview, or let me know that you're going to do the ride along. And I don't know if anybody had signed up. Last time I looked, no one had. Let me look and see if anybody has. Um, yeah, no one has signed up for the ride along. So if you're going to do the ride along in lieu of the research paper, let me know which agency you're riding with and you know, make sure that you contacted them and they are currently allowing ride alongs, um, you know, which could change at any time. So if you're going to do a ride along, do it soon rather than later uh, because uh, you know, if things, the way things are with COVID right now, there's no telling when they'll say, no, we can't have anybody else ride with the officers. Well. 
that is all I've got for you this week. Uh, this is a longer than normal weekly update. They'll normally be under five minutes. The first uh, the week twos is always a little bit longer than normal. And um, I will be talking to you again. I'll see you later.